Yo, what up guys, this is Ostatico, and I got a request to do a tutorial on my video quality for my HotPog HD PVR, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, let's get started. Go ahead and open up your Total Media Extreme and go to record a video. Uh, let me go ahead and close this. Wait until your capture source and everything comes up. So uh, make sure your source is selected as the HD PVR. Um, I record in PlayStation 3 mode, which is the MT2S format, which is the best quality. The other one is the MP4, which is the Xbox 360, and it's not nearly as good, so just use the PlayStation 3 setting. Uh, click on Format Settings, and make sure that your quality bitrate is all the way to best, which is 13.5. Uh, constant bitrate, and everything else I just leave default and then you could go ahead and apply that um, now under your device settings go ahead and do absolutely nothing <laughs> I just leave them all default and then you are ready to capture as long as your video input is YPRPB your audio input is RCA back and your PC uh, audio mode is two channel stereo I don't think it matters if it's anything else but you never know so go ahead and close out of this and now open up your Sony Vegas. I uh, use Sony Vegas Movie Studio Platinum HD 10.0, which is actually the same as Sony Vegas except for it's just optimized for HD format, um, video format. Sorry. So now go ahead and open up a video. Let me see if I could find one that's not too too long. I think this one's probably decent. I don't want to wait too long for loading. Nah, it shouldn't take too long. I'm just going to go ahead and decrease the size of this down to something really, really small. So, if you notice my um, my screen over here to the right is is full screen, and typically it won't be um, with default settings in Sony Vegas. So what you're going to have to do is go ahead and go to this little arrow right here, Project Video Properties, click on it, and over here in the corner, uh, press Match Media Settings, and go ahead and click on that, and select your video, and it'll be your HD PVR video that you'll select, and then just go ahead and click Open, and then make sure this is set to best. It'll be at good as default. The rest, it really doesn't matter because it automatically optimizes the preview screen for your video um, and then just go ahead and collect or select start all new project with these settings and then go ahead and press apply and OK it and now you're ready so my settings are uh, first of all what you want to do with all your clips before you edit them or do anything don't even touch them you want to do this from the very very beginning otherwise you're gonna end up doing this to every single clip that you sliced so go ahead and right click on your video and press properties um, make sure that the maintain aspect ratio is unchecked and make sure disable resample is checked or circled whatever and then press OK and basically what the disable resample does is in motion video it it pixelates less I guess you could say and yeah that, those are the best settings I've found so far so now go ahead and go down to your sharpen and add reset to none and just leave it the same and basically it just clears up the picture a little bit you can actually see it on some videos when you drop it in you could see the difference uh, just right here on the screen alone now you want to go up to your color correction and it doesn't matter color correction or secondary but basically, uh, I have my own preset, and these are the settings that I use. You can use any settings you want, but just be warned that color correction likes to it likes to boost up the bright areas and decrease the dark areas, which means you'll have really bright areas that are white and really dark areas that are black. So I found these settings are the best to bring out the best of both. And uh, basically your rotate hue is zero saturation is 1.189 your gamma is 1.017 
your gain is 1.197, the offset is negative 18.6, and the alpha is 1.000, or 1.0 exactly. And the rest you can see on here, I'll go ahead and zoom it in for you guys so you can see that. And yeah, that's it. So that's pretty much it. Now you can edit your video any way that you want. And when you're done, go ahead and go to the project and render as. And you want to select as the save as type. Go ahead and select the main concept AA, AVC slash AAC MP4, which is also the iPod setting pretty much. Except for you're going to want to customize this. So go ahead and select the Apple iPod 640x480 video. Um, I already did this, so I'm just going to select mine and show you what it looks like. Go to custom, and on the include video, of course you're going to want this, otherwise you're not going to have a video. Um, make sure that it's set to custom frame size, and the width is 1280, the height is 720. Um, your profile should be main. Uh, your frame rate, 59.940000, which... Uh, Typically, you're going to want to set the frame rate as the same frame rate your video is that you recorded. And in order to find that out, um, you can, uh, let me show you guys, you can um, come over here to the Project Media tab and click on your video and it'll show you right there 59.940 frames per second. So yeah, we'll go back to the uh, editing. And so yeah, make sure that your frame rate is whatever it's set to otherwise it might be a little different um, allow source to adjust frame rate uh, I didn't even know I had that selected I don't think you want that selected though I don't I don't think it really matters honestly because I don't think it really fluctuates much um, the field order sleep to none progressive scan uh, pixel aspect ratio leave to one if you put it as 1.33 which is the high definition format it may be a little more clear, but it all it also won't be full screen anymore, and you'll be dealing with uh, way different settings. So uh, the pixel aspect ratio leave at 1.0, the number of reference frames set to four, and set to constant bit rate, and put it 14 million, and that's the closest to your actual video. You could set this to whatever your video is, which is actually 13.5 if you're using my Hopog settings, but it will change for some reason. It doesn't stay the same, so just keep that in mind. The audio, it really doesn't matter. You can use whatever you want. Um, these are mine, 48,000 for the sample rate, and the bit rate is 128,000. In the project, you want it to be set to best for video rendering quality, of course. So, once you're done there, you have your settings and you are good to go. And you can go ahead and render it. So yeah, this has been a tutorial by OstaticO. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. And I will get back to you. Yep. Subscribe, rate, comment. Peace.